What's up, y'all? So in this video, I'm gonna get straight to it. I'm gonna talk about how I improved my coding skills each year as a developer, and particularly a front-end developer. One of the first things that I always say that makes me improve my coding skills is I put in that work. Like, I don't make excuses. I don't try to say how my life could have been better as a developer if I had these opportunities or this networking event or knew certain people. Like, I really just try to improve my skills every single day for at least a few hours every single day. Like, that's mainly one of the reasons why I improved my coding skills. And I've seen the improvement from when I first started to now because I just put in that work, man. Like, I don't want me to look back on my years as a developer and say that I wish I could have got better, but I didn't because I was wasting time on Instagram or Twitter and all these other social media platforms or just not staying focused so yeah that's one of the main ways that i improve my coding skills i just put in that work like i i didn't kid you not like i don't want no handouts i don't want the shortcuts i want to put in the work so that's one of the ways that i improve each day another thing that i want to mention is that i try to master one thing at a time like like if it's telling me multiple things i need to study like i'm not going to just like bounce left and right and trying to get all of them at once like i literally like have a like a weekly planner, which I know what I'm gonna do for those seven days. And those seven days, I may just stay focused on that one thing. So if it is TypeScript, I'm focusing on TypeScript for that whole week. And sometimes I just do it for a whole month, if not more months, like to make sure that I'm honing in on what I need to. Like, it's just, I noticed that when you're coding can be overwhelming, but if you break it down bit by bit and really focus and study that one thing until you really feel like you're proficient at it, then you will see better results and you will feel more confident and not have the imposter syndrome as much. So that's what I do personally that I feel like um, gets me to that point is that I literally just focus on that one thing and I make sure that I spend enough time on it to the point where I feel proficient and I can code it without looking up on Google like how to do it or Stack Overflow as much and I'm more focused. That was a bird right there, man. Like Outdoors, man, outdoors. <laughs> So one thing that I do to improve my skills as a coder is I remove distractions. So mainly what that is, is that I treat social media like a treat, like a dessert. Like, so I only like get on it when I feel like I just want to get some entertainment, but I don't get on it. Or if I need to just post my reels or whatever, but I don't get on it for anything other than that. Like, like I try to stay focused like as many days as possible. So I delete those apps, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and all of them like, TikTok as much as I can, like, like for pretty much most of the week, like literally, like if I get on it, I may be on it for like 30 minutes, but then I literally will catch myself because I have a timer on it, like on the iPhones and they tell me like, okay, you've been on it for this amount of time. And then once that gives me that trigger in my mind, they're like, okay, I need to get off of it. So that's usually it, like, so I don't spend that much time on social media throughout the week. Cause like, I gotta work, like, you know, I gotta grind. That's how I see myself. like. Like, I don't want any excuses if I want to get to the top as a developer. And social media is a distraction. If it's not giving you a lot of value, it has a lot of pros, but the cons is that you could waste a lot of time. And I know personally for myself, I wasted time, like in my early twenties, like just spending a lot of time on social media. So now I learned like, no, nah, I got goals to reach as a developer, as a front end developer. So I just stay focused and staying focused is removing those distractions. So. That's something that I do, and that helps me improve my coding skills because I spend more time on that. And like I said, more time on something like Udemy, and I'm learning courses and actually taking notes on Notion, and those are going hand in hand. Now I'm getting good skills. With 30 minutes, I just learned a new, uh, something new about dynamic programming, and I, and if I spent that time wisely instead of spending it on social media. So this is what I mean by me improving my coding skills each year by doing stuff like that like throughout the whole year. Lastly, what I do to improve my coding skills as a developer is by taking a lot of notes. Like, y'all, I take a lot of notes. And these notes really help me. I use Notion because it's just smooth, it's clean. I like the way it's been for the last, like, two years that I've been using it. And it just saves all my work. Like, you see it on my iPhone or I can see it on my MacBook, etc. It just makes my process so much easier. And, yeah, I mean, I take a lot of notes, man. So even if I have, like, a coding challenge, like, I would literally, instead of looking for the answer and if I get stuck, like I'll literally just look at my notes and like, see like, okay, 
I know this has to do with like graph traversal. Like, let me look it up or doubly linked list. Like, I can look that up like in my notes and see like the styling of it, syntax, you know, reading exactly what I said about it just to make sure I got a good understanding of it. And then, like most times or not, like I can be able to answer that coding challenge because of that. And eventually it gives me more confidence because I have the notes and I don't have to just keep Googling and Googling things and I'm not getting the right answers. Like, like I think notes really helps me like understand code a lot better. And I just recommend it a lot because you're not gonna memorize everything, but always go back in your notes, just like in school and get the main points that you wrote down and they'll retain a lot better in your brain. So that's what I do, man. I hope these like things that I mentioned that improved my coding skills a lot, like, cause it improved a lot y'all. Like my coding skills improved a lot since I first started learning how to code. So like, man like i didn't know a lot like but now i know way more than i do and i still got a lot to learn like because i want to be an expert at this but like yeah man like hey it's because of these habits that i've had and i hope these um things that i do to improve my coding skills helps you if you want to incorporate it in your life so yes i really hope you enjoyed this video espero que tengas un día ciao